Right. A unique horror adventure home. I'm not into horror games, but I thought I'd give it a go. Uh, it was a cheap game that I came across, so what the hell. I'm sat here on my own in the house. Well, apart from the animals. And in the near dark. I'm not going for the whole dark. But it's nearly dark. So, uh, yeah. We'll have a go. Uh, uh, yes. Auto save. An hour and a half. Ooh, it's half ten. Should be alright. Yes, yes. Another stupid thing where it's not using WISD. Uh, right, right. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go. All I remembered at that point was finding myself alone. Oh, my head. Where was I? It was so dark. There was something by my feet. A flashlight. A torch. Okay. Where am I? Uh. Okay. That house. Where was I? There's a body lying on the floor. Who was it? Oh my god, who is it? They recognise his face. He was still kind of warm. Ew. No. We're not going to do anything about him then. <coughs> oh, puss cat. Uh, that looks like it's stairwell. <sighs> so I'll keep going for now. Ooh, we've got a leak. <sighs> Storm outside. Shelf. Computer desk. Desk had a computer and some papers on it and a single drawer. I didn't want to snoop, but I opened the drawer. Receipts, pens, and a blurry photo. Looked like a store of some kind. Why did this look so familiar? Um. Okay, I really shouldn't have been going through this stuff, getting fingerprints everywhere. Why not? Try to find out where I am. Blood on the wall, it smelled fresh and sickening. I realised there was blood on my shoes and pants. Oh man, I had to get out of there. Oh, time to go. Downstairs. Uh, I think it looks like a banister, so yeah. I noticed that I limped as I moved down the stairs. How did I hurt my leg, I wondered. Well... Personally, I hurt my leg falling down the stairs at the end of July, where I fractured my kneecap. Um, don't know about the character in the game. All I could really recall was coming home, seeing Rachel. I was upset. She looked afraid. I shook my head and tried to clear it. I knew I shouldn't. I should head downstairs, try to find a way out. So here I am. Downstairs. Oh God. The shelf was full of books on local history and hunting. It seemed like the owner of the house really knew the area. There were scribbles of all kinds on random scraps of paper and notes about some kind of water tower. Did he mean the one by the old train yard? Uh. Right, same again. Okay. Uh, door. Okay. <sighs> What's this? An old dining table covered in dirty dishes for two people. 
There were dozens of beer cans and other liquor bottles among the dishes. The smell was turning my stomach. What's that? A black and white photo looked like the man upstairs and his wife, I guessed. There was no reason for me to keep this. Did I take it? Uh, yes. I slipped the photo in my pocket. Maybe this would help me find some answers. I might be able to identify him from something else. So I'm guessing it's his house then. That's where I came from. It's going down again. Carry on this way. Oh. A thin grey mouse was stuck in a trap. It looked frantic but exhausted. Did I free it? Of course. Another door! Oh, Ooh, what's that? Collection of rusty tools. These look like they'd seen a lot of use and were caked in damp smelling dirt. Why weren't they in a shed? Odd place to keep yard tools. What would they have been used for in here? Ah, picture, photo, similar to the old one I picked up. It had been moved a lot. There seemed to be a switch behind it. Did I push the switch? Obvs. It depressed smoothly into the wall. I heard a faraway click somewhere. Okay. Go downstairs now. Go this way again. Shit, what's that? Oh my god. Made me jump. Carry on. Go that way. That switch in the wall worked. The door had been unlocked. How did I know it was locked? Um... Do, do I want to go down there yet? Hold on. What's, what's this way? I look like hell my clothes were dirty and torn. And there was mud cakes all over my shoes. There's another door. The front door was blocked by a pile of furniture. I knew I had to find another way out. Right. Uh, is that a cupboard? The bathroom was spotless. Everything had been wiped to a sheen. I wondered if it was the man's wife who did the cleaning or him. Okay, bathroom. What's that? Photo development tray lying on the floor. Some leftover negatives were sticking out, but they were pretty blurry. I thought I saw what looked like treetops. Okay. Got it. Uh, get out there. Taped up and seemed to be stuck. By the smell, I guess it led to the kitchen. Right, I've uh, got no choice but to go down here then, have I? The box looked heavy, but there were marks on the floor. It had obviously been moved before. Maybe I had found a way out. I must have moved it, right? I heaved the box forward and it finally gave. There was a ladder going underground where the box was. A dank smell rose from the passage. Did I climb down the ladder? Obviously, I've got to get out, haven't I? I looked again at the photo I found in the house. The couple looked distant like they didn't want to be in the same picture. I wondered where the wife was. My leg was in terrible shape, but I had to get out. Oh, what's that? 
Footprints in the dirt look like more than one kind and a lot of traffic. Is that a map? Places all over were marked on the old map of town, the industrial area near the river, various houses and even the water tower near the old rail station. That was the water tower mentioned in the scribblings, was it? Newspaper clippings from the local paper, they were all about murders in town over the last few years. Wait! There were photos. Photos of our house. What the hell was that about? Maybe I should have looked around more. Tried to find some kind of information. God. Oh, Rachel, please be okay. I wanted to rush home, but I had to find a way out first. And I needed to see what else was down there. A work table covered in papers, dirt, and a handgun. I hated guns. I didn't take it, did I? Yes. I took the small handgun into my pocket. Its weight was somehow reassuring. I'd rather I had it than somebody else had it to use on me. This is another ladder. It was so dark down there and the air smelled stale and putrid. I couldn't believe what I saw. What was this place? It's another ladder. Some shelves. Let's go right to there. Another ladder. A box. Hang on. I'm going to have a look at everything. Oh, I am limping. Oh, okay. And a door. Shitty now. Right, let's have a look in the door. Um. Okay. There look to be bones half dug into the ground and the remains look old. Faded clothes that stuck up amongst the dirt look familiar. They look like the clothes that woman was wearing in the photo I found. Was this the man's wife? Jesus. Oh, am I outside? Oh no, it looked like a tree. Oh, hello. The desk looked old and was caked with grime. On it was a stack of old faded paper, covered with what looked like names. They were scratched out and illegible notes were written beside them in faded blue ink. I could only make out a few letters. <sighs> he... If he... None of it made any sense to me. Nothing about Rachel or me was written here. Maybe I needed to keep looking. Okay. Uh, that's where I came down. Some kind of homemade rack slung together with poorly cut wooden rope. Caked with old blood. Somebody didn't actually use that, did they? And there's meat hooks there. Crudely made shelves. They look like they were holding cans of some kind of corrosive. The labels were worn and slick, but I could still see the warnings. <sighs> right, that's a ladder. Oh, okay. It looked like a cage. It was small, but there was something coating the bottom. Something wet. That place was getting worse all the time. I knew I had to keep moving. Oh. Jesus, how many ladders are there in this gaff? What's that? Some kind of old boxes. They look like they were years old. Wait a minute. These boxes had old clothes in them. Clothes I remember throwing out after Rachel and I had moved to town. What the hell were they doing there? If I was scared before, I was terrified now. Why were there photos of our house there and these clothes? Was that why I was there? I checked my back pocket and realised that my wallet was missing. Did I come to that house or did somebody bring me? Okay. Oh, another door, great. <sighs> That noise. Shit. 
Is that bats? It's like bats. Yeah. I'm not scared of bats. Bats are cool. Okay. I remember noticing the broken ladder. I had to be careful. Get past it. There's a door. Go through the door before I go down another level. Oh my god, I can see a skeleton. What's this? There was a rope hanging there. I wasn't sure how sturdy it was. Did I take it? Yes. Maybe the rope would make that broken ladder easier to descend. Um, what? What does that say? Is that somebody walled up? I didn't even know I could do that. Obviously can't. Have the rope now, there must be a use for it around somewhere. Right. So, the rope I found would have let me climb down the broken ladder safely. Did I climb down? Yes, I've still not found a way out, have I? I could hear a faint hum and the smell from before started to get worse. <sighs> bunch of old newspapers, wheat pasted together, a message had been hastily smeared on it. Keep out, danger due to caving. Great. I've got a lot of choice, have I? Okay. I could still feel a faint impression of the rope I had slid down as I pressed against the heavy metal door. It was probably for the best that I hadn't jumped. The ache in my leg was bad enough as it was. If I could have, though, I would have run straight out of those awful tunnels. Who would keep such a place? At least, I thought, I had found that old handgun. It seemed to work, and from the smell of it, it had been used already. I kept the gun in my pocket. It seemed a familiar weight there. <sighs> Right there, can't get in there. Oh, okay. An exposed ventilation shaft. Maybe somebody crawled through there, but it was so high up. That must have been a sore landing. Hmm. There was dirt on the ground, it looked wet, and there was grass smeared within it. Oh, I'm going up again now, man. There's an arrow pointing that way, look. I could hear a faint ticking sound, like, oh, trickling, like water. What was that? Exit. Kitchen knife covered in drying blood. Thinking about it made me sick. I didn't even want to touch it. Did I take the knife? I'm going to say no. I still had the old handgun. I wasn't sure what good a knife would have been. I just think it's more likely that a knife's going to get taken off you and used against you. <sighs> so, exit all this way. Let's go this way. Okay, so the arrow's pointing that Oh my god, maybe jump shit. Um, oh, I don't know which way to go. There's so many doors. <sighs> Just keep going straight on, I think. What's with the sewing noise?
been there. So let's have a look. Why? That's number one. I wasn't sure, but I thought it was some kind of regulator. I had no idea how it worked. Through the dust, I could see handprints from previous use. Probably from whoever worked in those sewers. I'm not going to start pissing about with it, am I? No. What's the point in that? Door was locked. Musty smell from inside. Okay. Good, good. Right, let's take the exit then. a rusty ladder sunk into the water which smelled disgusting I knew I couldn't climb down that maybe I could find a way to drain the putrefied water oh well it's obviously through using those bloody things then isn't it for god's sake I could see handprints, probably who for our views. Right, but it doesn't tell me how or what to press. Um, I thought I could turn this water valve to shut off its flow. Did I turn it? Yes. Stop that. Let's see if that's affected the uh is it in here? Right, no. Okay. Let's try number two. This water valve shut off its flow. Did I turn it? Yes. Should I just go and turn everything off? Why not? Now that's already off. And that's off. Hmm. I thought I could turn this water valve to shut off. She does. Turn that off. But I already did that. Huh? Oh my god, does it get? Get back through the door. Is this turned off? Right, that's off. Uh, I've said that before. Hmm. 
Right, I think on the back wall there, that's a suggestion as to where the yellow mark on the wheel needs to be. And I think on this one, see if I can turn it all the way around. Four's in the right place. Alright, let's see if two's in the right place. drained out from that grate in the wall. Hmm, a small metal key left floating in the shallow pool of rancid water. Did I take it? Too right, I take it. Pocketed the small key, but it was so odd shaped, I had no idea what it might open. I had a horrible feeling that I haven't turned on me. Mike. Safety poster had definitely seen better days. How old was that facility? Door, ladder. Right, let's try it. Locked. Can see a faint light within. I've got a key. No. The ladder then. Another body, a sewer worker, he was a mess, looked like he'd been stabbed. I could see a key ring that had fallen out of his pocket, too right I took it. Worked up the nerve to snatch the key ring away and put it in my pocket. Why would there be a dead sewer worker? Why would anybody... <gasps> camera! There was a security camera in the room, there must have been a way to see what happened. fresh air here, I was anxious to leave, but I couldn't help wonder what key unlocked. It's great. Hmm. This must have been the other end of that ventilation shaft. Whoever used it must have gotten past the flooded room with this. Ladder. Is it worth going seeing if... I mean, all the arrows point in that direction, but... Um... There's a key down here that was locked. Door that was locked, wasn't it? Use the queuing tool on the door. Okay. Security tape. Strictly organised, though. Covered in dust must have been... Old if they're still using VHS. Odd one of the tapes was missing. The security desk was dusty and there was a dirty cup, coffee cup there. VCR looked like it still worked. Mm. We're not gonna... We're not gonna do anything with that then. No. I wondered where the other tape was. Oh, 
another locked door somewhere else on there, but I don't know that I want to go that far back. Okay. I began to question my decision to take the heavy gun as I climbed. Would I need it before the end, or was I fool for even taking it? I wondered what was in that locked room I passed. Should I have gone back to check? At the top of the ladder, I found a, a latch and clumsily plopped it open. Suddenly, as I lifted the heavy lid above my head, a terrible smell of that sewer gave way to the dank scent of pine trees. Oh, I'm out. Is that some eyes? Soft. Get soft eyes. More eyes. Hmm. Do I just come out of that house? Do I want to go back? Okay. Is this the front door that's blocked with furniture? ladder leading up to an ancient water tower. The ladder needed to be extended so I could climb it. Did I extend the ladder? I popped the ladder latch and brought the ladder down. Let's go up. It's been mentioned a couple of times this so... Smeared dirt and grass, there was a beat up old wallet. I thought it was mine. Did I take it? Yes. Missing its content, including any cards or ID. It was worn but light. It made carrying the gun round seem more awkward. Where were my driver's license and credit card? Did I put this up here, or was somebody else carrying it? From the railing, I could see over the woods and down to the entrance to the sewers. Had I come through there before? If I did, someone definitely could have seen me. Okay. Tried the little key I had fished out of the murky puddle in the sewers. It fit, and I heaved open the rusty door. Why did I do that? Why? The wind was picking up a bit. The night air uh, had become strangely chilly. Um, that's a light. I'm not liking these eyes looking at me. <laughs> right, not much choice then, I'm going in here. The old train station was quiet as a tomb. The only sound was that of the increasing wind buffeting the decrepit structure. I'm in the bloody train station now. Jesus. What's going on now? There's a door there. Came in there. There's a door there, right? Go this way. Okay, that's the uh, map. Train routes connected to that old station. As I looked at it, it seemed familiar. Of course, the map I found in those tunnels had similar locations marked, and the notes I found on the other man's bookshelf. His notes mentioned the water tower and even this train yard. What was he doing? Coming back here? Another 
the door. Shall I do this? Oh, do it while I'm here. Go all the way to the other end. Am I outside again? What the hell is this? The train? The train was ripped open and hanging from a shred of metal. As well as the broken fence was a dark stained patch of cloth. It looked synthetic like some kind of outerwear. Inside the train shell I could see a few faint impacts, like wounds. Could there have been bullet marks? Was somebody shot there? The ground was well worn though. I couldn't really make anything out. I realised I was touching the gun I had found, as I thought. Ancient ticket booth was falling apart, covered in dust and grime. Stacks of paper lined the counter, faded remains of old schedules and reports. Among the paper were newer looking sheets covered in scribbles and illegible notes. Come to think of it, the man in that house had kept similar scribbles, hidden on his bookshelf, and had notes on the water tower outside too. I guessed he could have been coming here, but why? What was he using this old station for? Okay, we're going to let you go now. Go back outside. I guess so. But there wasn't anywhere else to go. Came from that direction, right? No, no. Came in there, didn't I? Go back. Um, getting lost now. Okay. Mm, right. Straight on then. Okay, I'm going here. This uh, info board. Entrance to the forest that was mentioned on the map I had seen. Whoever was poking around in those tunnels underneath that man's house had scribbled notes on this place, but I couldn't make them out. Here, the sign pointed out various campsites and walking paths within the woods. It mentioned a river and maybe a washroom, but the rest was too faded to see clearly. What's that? A gap in the hedge. Oh actually mean to go through there yet. Go back. Another one. Shit. Right, we'll go through the first one then. What's that? Trampled into the dirt and grass was a plastic card of some kind. I brushed it off and was surprised to see it was my credit card. I wasn't sure if it was still usable, but it was mine. Did I take back my credit card? Yes. Pocketed the credit card. Hopefully I could find my driver's license too. Through the fence I could see a dilapidated outbuilding. I wondered if I could find my way around. Let's go this way. Oh, jeez, I'm going to get lost, aren't I? There was a fire pit there. It was still warm, and a few embers still burned at the bottom. There was someone else out in these woods. Why did they abandon their campsite? Two folding camp chairs were on the ground. One was knocked over. There were a couple of cans of beer spilled on the ground. 
cheap dome tents at two people. I shone my flashlight inside and could see some bed rolls, two backpacks and a cooler. Whoever was here left this place in a hurry, but why? I'm getting lost as to which bloody edge I've come through. Panic. This is the outbuilding. Right. Toilets. The grimy sink had a small patch in it that looked almost clean. Okay. There wasn't much in the way of clean water there, but the sink did work. Okay. Toilet stalls. What's that? A musty wooden plank propped up the stall door. It really didn't seem useful. Did I bother to take it? Yes. Wasn't sure why, but I took the plank. It might help me bridge a gap at some point. You never know. Uh, okay. Did I come through there? I think I did. Go that way. Um, sign was the same as the first one I've seen. This must have been the exit to the other side of the woods. No offense. I had finally found the exit. Once I left, I knew I never wanted to return there. Um, yeah. Let's leave. Finding that campsite had been strangely unsettling. I couldn't imagine why anyone would abandon their site in the middle of the night, especially in the dark forest. I was relieved at least to have finally been out of there. Even now as I peered through the dense trees, I could see cracks of light and a bit of the land beyond. Must have been getting closer to town, but where exactly was I? the gate I suddenly recognised the auto parts factory where I'd worked as a machinist for all those years. The plant had closed almost three years ago now. Times were better then. I thought I could hear a faint rustling behind me. Maybe it was just the wind. Oh, some town. Some town. Was that the factory? Broken fence. Door. Hmm. Try the door. Oh. In the factory. <sighs> Hazard warning. More doors. Hmm. I don't know that I want to be inside the factory, do I? I don't think so. Start mooching around. I just want to get home, don't I? Nothing there. Oh my god. No. Dead body. Or a body. Found the body of a security guard just doing his job, no doubt. His face was covered with blood from some kind of head wound. I wondered, was this flashlight his? Well, he was a long way from it. I saw the blunt wound on the guard's head and looked again at the flashlight I was carrying. Oh no, please. So, ooh. how did the flashlight end up so far away from him? Dug into the ground was a cracked old watch. First my wallet and now this. Did I retrieve my watch? Yes, don't leave anything lying around. It's looking more like I'm killed these people. What's this? I'll take all the evidence with me. I should have picked up that knife. Probably did that as well. Right, well obviously I've got to go in the factory then, so... Oops, 
stairs? No, not yet. One of the lockers hung open. Its contents were tossed around like someone had been looking for something. Old work clothes had been picked through and a few photos and notes had been ripped off the door and spread around. Okay. Uh, door was locked shut and there was a little electronic box. Oops. Under the handle, a sign was pasted in front that said danger, closed for repairs. Control panel of some sort. Power box with five lights on it. Cables burst out of the box, snaking off to other parts of the factory. The metal was starting to wear and cobwebs had collected on the corners. The box wasn't receiving power. Door was locked tight. It seemed to be connected to the power box beside it. Hmm. Okay. Um, is there any clue? It didn't look like the power's on yet. How am I going to get the power on? In there, I suppose. Close for repairs. I go upstairs, aren't I? Every part of this plant smelled old and rotted. I noticed the old bulletin board on the wall. No! The board contained yellow clippings of newspaper cartoons and notices. There were notes to and from the guys that worked here. One of them was to Norman, who was one of the older guys on the line. The noise. Oh, okay. Turn that on. Hmm, a power panel looked like it was shut off. Did I push the switch? Yeah, why not? Now then, is there a clue as to in what position the switch needs to be. Or well, if it's anything to do with those things behind. Let's go with where it is. Ooh. The open locked coat was stuffed with dirty work clothes and old boots. There was a photo of a woman taped to the inside, but it was scratched out and the face was unrecognisable. That woman's photo, I knew I had to get back to Rachel to find out what happened. Okay. Hmm, power panel. Looked like it was shut off. Did I push the switch? Oh, oh now that's gone green. Which probably suggests that that other one, which wasn't green, Needs to be pushed again. Did I try again? Yes. There we go. Okay. It was shut tight. There was a rusty looking card slot on the side. Hmm. Okay. So I need a card as well. Bulletin board upstairs. Our break table. The layer of dust and grime only made seeing this sting more. Looked like some beer bottles had been used on the table recently, I wondered. Was that the guard using this as a break room of his own? Ew. Uh, that's it. Should I go upstairs again? Now I'm on a roll. Door had been hastily boarded up. Can't open it. Nothing there. Ok, 
look in here. Norman's locker, the door was dented like someone had punched it. I don't remember him doing that when he worked here. My head ached, and I recalled the last time Norman, Rachel and I all had lunch together. Rachel seemed so much more at ease when we all hung out. Hmm. Is that an affair? Another panel that I hope could get me the power back on. Yep. That's gone green. Ooh, shelves. Utility shelf crammed with mismatched tools and items. There's a claw hammer on the shelf. Take the hammer. As I took the hammer, I noticed it wasn't as dusty as the rest of the tools on the shelf. Being useful and productive, there is in this plant. That was all I ever wanted. When the factory closed, everything got worse. Okay, oh, another door. Another locker. Complete mess. Hidden at the bottom, though, was a magnetic card. Yes, that'll get me in that other room. Thank you. Switch that. Yep. Yep. And again. Yep. Oh, and again. Yep. And again. Yep. Right. Oh. Try. Yes. I tried to remove the plant to left the hammer on the floor. Well, you might need it again. Mm. This was my locker there in the factory. It stank of booze. There was a picture of Rachel on the inside. It it looked like it had been torn up. I thought I'd taken that picture home when the factory closed. There's a mess of empty booze bottles. I wonder if that man in the house had something to do with this. He sure had a lot of alcohol in his place. Right. Where was the key card door? card I found seemed like it would pass through this reader. Did I use the key card? Too right. In for a penny? Oh, what's that? That's the only thing. In here. There's some kind of ventilation hatch there. It looked like I could jump into the room below. I like her enough as it is. But I couldn't see another option. Did I jump? Oh yes, to hell with it. Oh, mum, I like her like hell. What's that? There was a crumpled up letter on the floor. It had been scratched out heavily and it was hard to make out. Did I try to read the letter? Obviously. Most of the letter was violently scratched out with what looked like to be a ball pen. All I could make out was, need to, just don't, drinking, Read, n need, Norman. Who was Norman writing to? Uh, there's a door there. I stepped out of the factory. Glad to be rid of its smells and memories. I couldn't stop thinking about that room with bottles in. Was that guard I found outside really drinking up there? What about Norman, and who had rooted through all those lockers? I couldn't tell where I was as I looked around, but I figured I needed to get to a road, get my bearings. Maybe Norman could help. The store wasn't that far from the turn-off to the factory, if I remembered correctly. Well, if you worked at the factory, surely you must know where it is, and therefore get your bearings from the factory. 
No. Okay. Um, this looks like a road. Uh, speed limit, 60. And uh, a hole in the fence. Damn it. Well, I think we've been about an hour. So, it's been nearly finished. The garbage bin was a disgusting mess of rotten food and slick black bags. I saw a thin greenish corner poking out from one of the bags. It was my driver's license. It looked damaged. Did I take it back? Yes. I cleaned the card off as best I could, it looked pretty beat up. I was amazed to have found my credit card and now this. I took the card into my wallet and it's my credit card. It sounded like it was going to start raining again. Get inside quick. I had entered Norman's place, this was the back of the store that he ran. It was oddly quiet except for the faint sound of the television. <laughs> the entrance to the front of the store was locked from the inside. It looked like I couldn't just pop it open. I needed a key. There's a bit of blood on the keyhole. rack, search pockets, what the hell? One of Rachel's old autumn coats hung on a rack. That was Norman's bedroom, wasn't it? What's, what's this doing here? A speck of something dark and wet stained one of the sleeves. Hmm. Ooh, guns. Inside the cabinet was a small but impressive collection of hunting rifles, shotguns, even a few items I didn't think were legal here. One of the slots on the rung on the rack was empty. The gun I had found seemed to match the others there. If the handgun was Norman's, what the hell was he doing with it? The gun would fit there. Did I place it back in the cabinet? No. Though it waited on me, weighed on me. I had a hard time parting with the weapon just then. Was this? It looked like a pull chain hanging from the ceiling. I wonder where it lead, led. I'm gonna pull the chain. Gave the chain a single tug and a simple folding ladder to the attic popped down. Let's have a look up there then. Why not? Oh my god. There's manacles and things. Box. Large cardboard box that hadn't been sealed. Did I open it? Too right. The old cardboard box was stuffed with weight. They were Rachel's old things, old clothes, photos. What were these doing in Norman's place? And where was Norman? I had to find him. TV still flickered some indecipherable channel. I couldn't make out what was on the screen, but that glow just gave me the chills. Oh my god, is this Norman? Oh no, I couldn't believe what I was seeing. Norman, my co-worker, one of the few friends I had in his town, lay dead beside his armchair. His face and shirt were covered in blood. It looked like he'd been shot, trying to get up. His eyes were still wide with shock. Norman, you bastard. What were you doing here with Rachel? Did she do this to you? Did you hurt her? Or did I do it because I discovered you? Norman, maybe you deserve better, maybe not. Did I close his eyes? Yes, freaky otherwise. Gently pushed his eyelids down. I wasn't sure if... 
I wasn't sure if I wanted to give him peace or if I just couldn't stand the look at, to look at him anymore. I guess this was Norm's kitchen table, he kept it clean enough, but there were water rings from two cups still there in the wood. I'd never been to Norm's place before, or at least I didn't remember ever doing so. The kitchen trash bin smelled fresh. I didn't dig through that mess, did I? Yeah, well. A hairpin amongst the rotting food and trash. I pocketed it. Nothing else, nothing to see here. I'm sure I've missed some stuff for getting to look up when it's art. Bye Norman. Enjoy the movie. Um I'm lost. I came up, didn't I? Getting there now. Hairpin bit the lock. Snapped in half, so I threw it away. The general store was small, but it was clean. It had the usual postcards, snacks, magazines, canned goods. Never went there much. Rachel usually stopped by after work if we needed anything. The register was mostly empty, and a fat stack of travel ma magazines set beside it. Are you thinking of going somewhere with Rachel, Norman? The ice box seemed to be unplugged, it must have been off for a while. Most of its contents were half melted. What was the matter, Norman? Cheating on your hydro bills, too. There were various postcards from the area, especially from the tourist traps. One of the postcards showed an old black and white photo of the water tower. It looked to be in much better shape then. Of all the postcards, that one seemed to be the most popular. There were only a few left. That night continued to take horrible turn after horrible turn. It had been weeks since I'd last seen Norman, but to find him like that, as I thought of him still lying on the floor back there, the gun I carried seemed ever present. Seeing that dusty box of those old clothes was a shock. How long had they been there? And what was Rachel doing at Norman's place? I felt like I had only discovered more questions, no answers, but I was close to home. It was to find, time to find out the truth. Is this my gaff? Is that my gaff? Is that my gaff? Oh my god. One of them's my gaff. It's going to be the end one, isn't it? Okay. It was locked. This wasn't the right gate. Oh, lol. Right. Locked tight. It wasn't my gate. The neighbour's local post box, a letter was sticking out, and someone hadn't pushed it all the way in. I knew it wasn't right, but did I look at the letter? No. I left the letter right where it was. The neighbourhood mail wasn't my problem. I'm not nosy. I had the wrong gate, this one was locked. I'm sure I just came through a gate. I'd entered our backyard, the rain gave me a terrible sense of foreboding, and it chilled me through my clothes. I was expectant, but also afraid. Oh, gold.
still limping. I held my breath as I approached my our back door. I was terrified to step inside. She'll be sat there with a brew, feet up watching telly, won't she? The house was painfully quiet. The only sound was my own breathing, ragged and strained. Oh well, no she's not. I flicked the light switch by the door. The power was off. Obviously. I still need my flashlight and torch. I remembered having breakfast here on this very table. That was yesterday. The table was clean, it hadn't been used any time recently. Rachel! 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 There was a small pile of mail on the floor in front of the mail slot. How long had I been away? Why hadn't Rachel picked this up? Most of the contents were there. There was a credit card bill. Did I open it? Yes. I wrote the bill open and read it. To my surprise, it said something about cancelling my credit card due to non-payment. What the hell? Drink a thimble too. This didn't make any sense. Front door was locked from inside. I couldn't go out though. I needed to see if Rachel was here. Okay. Let's go through the door. Door to the basement was locked. Where did I put that damn key? Upstairs then. First aid cabinet. Door was stuck shut. Old fashioned key all under the Another first aid kit. I had found the last missing piece from my wallet. The old photo of Rachel and I stared back at me, reminding me of better times. It didn't make me feel terribly comfortable, did I keep it anyway? I placed the photo in my wallet, feeling like I got part of my life back. Still, the image made me uneasy. Why had I thrown it away? Our oh, television. I had purchased it before I knew I was going to lose my job. I felt pretty guilty about it afterwards, but by then it was too late. Rachel was pretty angry about that, I realised. Half mine, half Rachel's. Hey, now that I look more closely, it looks like the man in that house had some of the same books as I did. One book in particular seemed a bit odd. I remembered owning it, but not that edition. My wife's Rachel's suitcase was sitting on the bed. It was closed. But I had a feeling what was in it. Did I open it? Contained clothes, toiletries and a train ticket. Is this what you were doing? We're going to do with Norman? Rachel, why? Were you really going to run away with Norman? Was I really such a monster? <sighs> Where was she? Our hallway mirror had been smashed, its pieces scattered around the floor. I couldn't really make myself out anymore. I wasn't sure I wanted to. Who broke it? Our sink, which needed to be replaced, one of the taps always stuck. But I hadn't got around to fixing it yet. You don't have to replace the sink because the tap's not working. That old house was charming for sure, but it wasn't always easy. We were lucky enough to get a house with one of those wonderful old 
claw-footed bath tubs. It seemed impractical at times, but it was part of what made that house home. Where is she? My laptop had been left on and only had a tiny bit of power left. On the screen was a website about the old water tower. There was a key in the top drawer of my desk. Did I take it? I pocketed the key. The laptop was warm. It had been running for a while. to do and go back downstairs what door was locked I'm lost now bag stuffed with old paint cans and supplies. Dirty old key. Took the small key and tried to remember what it unlocked. It's for that room upstairs. There were old clothes, tools and other things we obviously hadn't thrown out yet. We had way too much junk. Yeah, ooh. I'd put up this divider wall last summer. So we could create a separate room in the basement. I hadn't finished it yet, so the door was stuck. My dry ball was poorly, poorly installed. I might have been able to break through if I found something heavy enough. Well, if I still had that hammer. Plaster and an old trowel. found the key in the downstairs. There was an old crowbar on the floor. Yes. I lifted the crowbar. I appreciated its weight. Is that it? Oh. Oh, back down to the basement then. To the cellar. walled her up in here, am I? Did I break through the wall with the crowbar? With a heave, I swung the crowbar at the wall. I smashed a hole large enough to step through. As I stepped through the broken wall, my breath caught in my throat. This was it. Was Rachel down there? Was she okay? Don't look. What the hell? Canelo, how big is this pissing room? Don't 
Oh. A filthy looking pile of rags had been dumped in the corner. The stench of them was awful, it made my eyes water. I was terrified to even touch the pile to see what lay within. But I knew I had to, I had come this far. After all this searching, after all I had seen, when I looked within the rags, did I finally find my Rachel? You're asking me? No, I don't want it to be there. The rags were wet, matted, covered in dirt and grime. Phew, but inside that tattered mess was no sign of my beloved wife. Rachel wasn't there. I looked around in confusion, trying to figure out what to do next. If she wasn't there, where was she? What had I been searching for this entire time? I remembered the look on Rachel's face when I came home, didn't I? Then the awful realisation, the awful realisation hit me right in the gut. I had been looking at this the wrong way, hadn't I? This is what you've been trying to tell me all along, isn't it? I couldn't find Rachel there, and I won't find her anywhere else because she was never there at all, was she? I stumbled back upstairs. The pain in my leg was just a dull ache now, and I sat down in our, my, bedroom. My mind was spinning, and the ache I felt before was near crippling. Finally, I could no longer fight the exhaustion, and as I tried to grab hold of something that would make sense all this, I must have drifted off. Oh my god, I'm not starting again, am I? I, I guess these books were all actually mine then. My head was pounding. It was my wallet with its contents intact. Either I dropped that stuff or somebody else did. Maybe I was sleepwalking again or maybe somebody stole it from me. Norman store, that forest, the water tower. Was I at those places before? I didn't see how it could have happened any other way. I must have been the one to lose my wallet and its contents. But what does that mean? It was the photo of the other man and his wife that I found in that house. Were those really his wife's remains in those tunnels? It certainly seems so. What did I think? Did the other man murder his wife and bury her in those tunnels? Yeah. Sick bastard must have. What else did that mean? There were some questionable things in those tunnels. What else was he wrapped up in? key card I found in the factory, the one that allowed me to slip through that door. It seemed to me that it was probably Norman's. But if that was true, what was he doing back at the plant? Did I think Norman was going back to the factory? It must have been him. He must have been using the old locker room. The laptop I had finally run out of power. How long had it been left running? In the dirty faded glass I looked like nothing more than a faint shadow. 
There's only one set of toiletries by the sink. She left me. I used to tell myself that Rachel was the one who wanted to keep the tub. When I was there last time, I showered. When was the last time I showered? I smelled awful. Been having a bit of a bad time of it, have I? Not accepting that she's left me. In the shards of that broken mirror, I could see my face gone now, hollow and sickly and immensely troubled. What other illusions had I dreamed up? What other truths were waiting to be exposed? Had this mirror been broken in a struggle, or by some other way? safe sat on the floor. It used a digital passcode lock. Did I try to open it? Yes. The safe used an eight digit code. What was that damn code again? Let's try. Why not? No, can't remember. been in this room before. I had that old TV for so long, I don't know if I could ever replace it. It was a pile of junk, but I couldn't really afford anything newer. saying before about having bought a new TV. It seemed like I had seen all there was. Maybe I thought I was ready to go back to the basement. <sighs> Maybe there wouldn't be anything for me to find, but I had to take one last look. If I wanted to end it, I could do it. Do it with that gun. Did I pick it up again? Yes. It's like carrying an anvil, but I wouldn't let it go. Not again. The wall was cracked and pitted. I was told by an inspector the basement had been partially filled in before I bought the house. But by the look of that wall, I was going to need to fix the foundation. Everything smelled musty and all down here. Why can't I get in there now? There should be a big hole in it from when I whacked it before. What's going on? I sat down at the table and stared at the gun in my hand. It didn't seem so heavy this time. You showed me the truth. I wasn't sure there was any reason to keep on going. So what do you th think? Shouldn't I just end this misery? No, if you say so. Oh my God, is that it? The only way I can finish this game is by topping myself. It's a bit depressing. <laughs> so a pile of mail on the floor I now saw was addressed to me. Bills, credit cards, my foot, a letter from the bank, they were all addressed to me. I'm all on my own. Rachel was no more and I couldn't bear the sight of that house. But I did have that gun. Sure, I could leave. But would that even sold anything? I could find another way. But did I leave forever? I'm not going to shoot myself, so. Since I'd arrived in town, things had been difficult. Working in the plant, though, had been good for me. It kept me in line, gave me something to do, and helped me get away from my past. When the thatch closed, everything changed. I guess that was when I had started sleepwalking, disappearing for hours at a time. 
drinking was probably just a way to deal with that. It was almost as if I was trying to beat my brain at its own game. Things stopped making sense some time after that, and my memories of what happened are still in flux. I suppose that was when Rachel came along. This night had been the worst of my entire life. Would it even be possible to bounce back from everything that had happened, everything I'd seen? You know, in a way, I almost wished I hadn't even woken up tonight. It would have spared me a lot of pain. That man I found in the old house had killed his wife. I was sure of it, just as sure as you killed mine. And what was hidden within those sewers I had found? The tunnel to the man's house obviously led there. But was there something I missed? Was I so busy worrying about Rachel that I was blind? And what had I been doing at Norman's place, or even in that old forest? It didn't look good, that's for sure. Had I been responsible for what happened there? What do you think? Was I guilty, or was I just mad? The forest especially was a difficult maze, and I could rest easier if I never saw its like again. It was clear at least that Norman had been going back to the old plant. Had he been the one to seal up that room? Was he drinking up there alone? I thought perhaps he had something to do with that dead guard. But now you've got to tell him you've got me all mixed up. I'm not even sure what makes sense anymore. I had to catch my breath to take it all in. At each point until the factory, things had only gotten worse. But then going to Norman's store, that's where the confusion and doubt started to set in. That's when my perspective on this, on all this, really started to change. Norman was dead, but I had no idea what had happened to him, or what that box of clothes I had found in his attic meant. Did he know? But as painful as all as that was, oh no, I couldn't bear to think about it again. After all I'd seen and done, finally coming home was supposed to be the end of this entire ordeal. I had no idea, though, that it was only the beginning. The silence in the house when I had first stepped through the kitchen door. That should have been my first clue. To think that I went through all of that completely unaware of what I would discover. Did you know, before the end? Did you mock me when you finally showed me the truth? You don't know what it's like to have everything ripped away from you in a heartbeat. How could I possibly go on now knowing what I do without Rachel? Even the thought of Rachel, I was truly lost. As the door swung open, I could smell damp grass and the closeness of the air. After everything, it felt like I had more questions than answers. You made me see the truth, I'll give you that. But now I was completely lost. You took away the only thing that had kept me going. I was sure word would get out, and soon enough the police would come looking for me. And what then? Would you be there to show me the way? What will I do then? Oh my god. Oh my god. L10 John Well That was my kind of um, Scary game Not very scary at all And that's the end. I wonder if there's a different end. All oh, right, presumably there is. I suppose the end differs depending on whether you say yes and no to the questions. So yeah, um, have a go yourself.
uh, comment about what happened to you in the end. Okie dokie.